welcome back. Today we are working on another Different Faces Sim. This is our fourth Jane Seymour. This one is based on Jane Asher from Henry the Eighth and His Six Wives from 1972. I really like Jane Asher's kind of expressions throughout that film. I do think that she really has the visual look to be Jane Seymour, like for me, which is kind of plain, still pretty, but not like show-stopping. And she also had a very interesting nose. I was a little annoyed because this particular sim, for some reason, there was like a bump in the nose and I couldn't get her nose perfectly straight, but I got tired of messing with it, so I just let it go. I did struggle with her eyebrows because in the movie, like, her eyebrows are basically non-existent. Like, they're there, but they're so, so fair and so, so thin. Like, I didn't even really have brows that could do that. And my options were use the brows I had or just straight up take her brows off. So I went with the brows I had because I don't want to take her brows off. But yeah, it was, it was kind of interesting to create this sim. I've picked a lot of ladies from this 1972 Henry and his Six Wives portrayal. Just because it's a really good one. And there aren't a lot of, I mean there's a few, but there aren't a lot of depictions that I feel like really go for the actual look of the wives. Like Catherine of Aragon, for example. Excellent Catherine of Aragon in this adaptation, portrayal, whatever. Yeah, Jane. Jane was good too. I've only seen it once, and it was a very long time ago, so I could not tell you if it's an actually like a good film. I was just looking at screenshots at this point. I saw it when I was like 18, 19? So more than a decade ago? Yes, I am old. It's okay. <laughs> like, I saw it a long time ago. Because that was when I went through my first tutor obsessed phase. Judy, must you? Must you with the rope? She's very excited today because she knows that we are going over to the other house and she's going to be in the yard. And now that she's experienced being able to be in the yard whenever she wants, at all times. Hey! Whoa, please? Yeah, now that she's experienced the yard and the beauty of a dog door, like, coming back to the apartment, she is absolutely rotten. She is spoiled. She does not like it. She wants her yard. She doesn't even do anything. It's not like she's playing in the yard. She's just lying in the sun, but... I'm guessing she's been around cats too long, so she likes the option of being able to go outside when she wants. Not that she wants to, but she would like the option. Which is the same with my cats, which is why I don't ever get to close doors, ever. So, that's definitely gonna be an adjustment for them, because there's doors everywhere in that house. I mean, I would hope so. Most houses have doors, but it's like a 1960s house, so there's... Well, I guess there's not that many doors. I don't know. I'm so used to, like, open space studio apartments that, like, more than one door, I'm just like, oh my god, there's there's more than a bathroom door? Or a bathroom and a bedroom door? Who are you? <laughs> so, yeah. I don't really have anything interesting to say today. I was supposed to record this last night, but I started getting the worst migraines, so I stopped. Ugh. Yeah, I've been getting bad migraines again. Like, I mean, I've had them my whole life. I've had migraines since I was six. But I go through phases where I get them worse than normal, and it's because I discovered late in life that not all of my migraines were true migraines. Some of them were triggered by my sinuses, because I get sinus infections all the dang time. Especially when I lived in Montana, because I was allergic to all of the plant life there. Every everything. All of the things. The, the pine trees, the cottonwood, the grass, the everything. <laughs> and so I get sinus infections all the time, and the pressure on my sinuses would cause me to get migraines. And that happens here, not as much. I live in the desert now, so my body likes it a little bit better. There's not as much for me to be like, oh, I don't want to be near this. 
but I still get them. I do wish there was more that they could do in terms of sinus infections. Like, most of the time they're just like, cool, wait it out. In three weeks of it, stay there, we'll give you some antibiotics. Which again, they don't want you to take antibiotics all the time, but like, uh, the last time I went to the doctor, there was no real corrective surgeries they could do. Like I did with your ears, like they could put tubes in your ears. Why can't they put tubes in my nose? I'm just saying. I know this is probably a gross topic, but like, it's annoying me today because now I'm dizzy. And it ruins my whole day because I'm dizzy and I can't do anything. I'm literally recording this with my head lying down on my desk. So hopefully nothing inter too interesting is happening on the screen. I mean, I don't think so, but you never know. <laughs> I could kind of see it, but if I lift my head up, I'm gonna get dizzy again. I think I'm just picking out hair. Yeah, I'm just picking out hair. Which was actually harder. Like, I could have just gone for a hair. I knew I didn't have the right hair, but like, for some reason, I thought that I might. And sometimes you just have to roll with it and be like, okay, I'm gonna prove to myself that I don't have this hair, even though I have so much hair, it's ridiculous. I do like how she turned out. I don't think she's perfect. <clears throat> Which I think part of that is I just didn't. I should have tried more skin tones, I think. I don't know, there's just something about her eyes and maybe her mouth that's a little flashier than I meant it to be. Great, great. Now now we are dancing on on a bed. Okay. Judy, come here! I have a trash bag on my floor that I was filling with clothes, but I got distracted. And that's she's playing on it. Because of course she is. <laughs> yeah, not too much has happened today. I will admit, I do I do like days where I don't have to do anything. I wish I wasn't dizzy during those days, but it's it's nice to have a day off. Come here, come here, come here. I'm literally tricking the dog right now. I'm tricking the dog. She's kind of easy to trick. We are out of dog bones though, so we're gonna have to go to the store. We're gonna have to go to the store. I was talking about my partner. One of the things I'm trying to do with my dog, I'm just gonna talk about my dog, why not? I'm trying to get her to stop jumping and I can't get her to do it. Like, part of it's she's so cute and people see her and she'll jump up and they just think it's cute because it's like a hug. And so they let her do it, but like, that behavior is so ingrained in her now from before I got her and then reinforced again while I've had her that it's just impossible to get her to stop. Like she just jumps up all the time and it wouldn't be so bad except she's got really long nails because like the quick in her nails is really long and we've got them shorter than they used to be but they're like dragon talons and even with when they're grinded down like she claws the crap out of you. And so I'm trying to break her of that habit but so far no luck. I think I'm actually going to have to resort to sending her to an actual dog trainer for like a couple weeks because she's worked with trainers before and they also have a problem with getting her to not jump up. Like I've, I've gone to several different trainers and we've broken some of her other bad habits but the jumping up is just, she won't stop it. She won't. And I don't know what to do about that but she cannot jump up on people because Especially in the new house, like, there's going to be people that are a lot older and she could really hurt them if she jumped on them. Even though she doesn't put her full weight into it, she's not a big dog, but she needs to not do it. That's, that's kind of my thing that I need to focus on is figuring out how to make her stop. I did find a trainer, though, that I think could potentially work. Like I said, I'm actually going to have her go there for a few weeks because I think... Usually dog training problems are the owner's fault, so I'm sure it's something that I'm doing. So if she could get into her head that she doesn't do it, and then they bring her back, and then the person trains me to not get her to do that, we'll have it worked out. But we're basically done, so thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give, go ahead and give it a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.